Hey everyone. I wanted I'm trying to get out and get going too. But anyway, I wanted to um come on here for a moment and talk to you about an experience that I had. Um well I'm gonna sit here anyway, so I don't sit it up anywhere. I'm gonna sit right here before I leave. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you about this experience that I had uh, within, I guess, the past week. I have been looking to do some things um, for the community and specifically, I wanted to do some crafts for the community aside of my business, Creations Virtue. Now, if you don't know about Creations Virtue, it's, it's a crafting experience. And I actually invite a caterer to do the appetizers. And we have a signature drink, both alcoholic. I mean, you have your choice of alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Nothing hard, you know. Usually if it's alcoholic, it's like maybe a fruity drink or wine or something of that sort. And um, I choose a crab. And sometimes I allow the guests to choose um, their crab. You know, if someone's having a private party and they're hosting, I allow them to be able to, you know, choose their crab for their group, which is uh, from eight to 10 people. And uh, we come together, we, we craft, and we have a really, really good time. It's like an upscale girls' night out or something like that, I would say. So, anyway. I wanted to do some um, crafting things for the community, um, you know, to give back. And also, I just, I love art. Art is, that's where my heart is. I just love art. I've always been really, really um, artistic and crafty, so I, I love art, and that's like my dream to teach it to other people what i know i'm you know in no way you know and <laughs> the best artist or anything like that but i operate pretty you know well within my own realm or whatever so i just like to teach people things that i know and teach them to be creative you know and dig deep inside to pull out that artistic ability that all of us embody we all have something to offer in this world you know i mean art is what makes anyway, the world i had contacted this organization and i'm not going to mention the name you probably can figure it out anyway but i'm not going to mention the name and um actually i was referred um well, someone referred me to this organization because they knew what I wanted to do. So I filled out, filled, filled out an application and actually I was contacted by two different individuals uh, from the organization. So one of the individuals asked me if I would be interested in meeting, you know, to do an interview and show some of the work that I have. So I was like really, really excited because this is, a, like I said, something I've been wanting to do so for a that while. one individual contact me and then another individual contacted me about uh, an interview. Now the first person wanted to meet on um, that that Friday that was coming up and then the other person wanted to meet on that Monday. So I'm like, wow, I have an interview at the same place, which I promise this has never happened before. Same place, um, one on a Friday, the other Man, on a Monday. I'm really, really excited. I'm so excited. So I put some fresh pieces together to present in the interview, you know, for that coming Friday and I was gonna do something else over the weekend or use the same things to present them to the other person for that Monday. So anyway, um, on that Friday, that Friday, I was supposed to go and meet her at 1030. Our interview time was at 1030. She called me, I would get, I would say around 830 AM. Hey, Katina, how you doing? This is blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to see if you had a few minutes so, you know, to answer a few questions. I'm oh, like, oh, sure. I, you know, go to a quiet place and I'm talking to her on the phone and um, she's like, well, you know, what experience do you have? And I mean, she's asking me this and I'm like, okay, where is this going? Because we already, I don't know, it just felt kind of weird. But anyway, I answered her questions and uh, to make a long story short, she said, well, you know, Katina, I was looking over your resume and you know she's saying um, I 
don't want to waste your time. She said, I don't want to waste your time and have you come out here. She said, because it looks like um, we're looking, it looks like, um, well, based on what I see in your resume, she said, I think we're looking for someone who has a little more experience. So I kind of had a pause on the phone for a minute and you know, which she's entitled to that. But I'm like, um, and keep in mind, I had taken, um, I already told, you know, my boss, you know, that I needed a little extra. Uh, I think I said, no, I take that back. The, the interview was at three. It was actually at three or three thirty. No, it was at three thirty. And I had asked my boss, you know, if I could leave a little early, you know, for an appointment, you know, that I had at, um, if I could leave at, you know, three and she was like, yeah, you know, it was fine or whatever. So, um, yeah, it wasn't, uh, we were supposed to meet at 1020. It was, we were supposed to meet at 330 and she called me around, I guess it's around 830, 19, something like that. But anyway, that's not important. Anyway, she said, we're looking for someone who's a little more, you know, who has a little more expertise than, you know, what she perceived or whatever I don't know I'm not sure but I was like oh okay and I, I mean I had to gather my thoughts because I felt I don't know I felt really really bad because I, I was so so excited I mean I like picked out my outfit I was gonna wear everything like two or three days before usually I get it the night before but this was literally two or three days before because I just gathered everything together because I just wanted to present my very best, okay? My so very anyway, best. I'm like, um, I was like, okay, you know, well, thanks anyway, you know, pretty much. I didn't know what else to say because I'm like, you know, there's nothing else to say, you know. I, I'm really feeling some kind of way about her calling me the same day and kind of canceling our appointment. But at the same time, I, I've been around enough to know how God works. You know what I'm saying? So I was just, I and and I did. I kind of, I don't know. I asked her in the end. I said, "Well, would you even consider looking at my work?" You know. I got my work together and I'll bring it in before you make that final decision. She said, no, we're just going to go ahead and, you know, look for other candidates who have a little more experience. So I'm like, okay. I said, well, thank you anyway. You know, that's really nice. Even though I felt really, really bad and rejected and let down and all that, I still was really nice to her because I mean, like I said, I've been around long enough to know how God works. So I go back to my desk and I'm feeling pretty bad because I'm like, Ugh, I just knew I had pulled this off. It was going to be good, blah, 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 blah. And I had to, you know, get myself together because I'm like, dang, you know, feeling some kind of way about that. I was like, Ugh. but oh, anyway, you know, this was Friday. So over the weekend, I was like, hey. I'm going to put something together. I'm going to go to the interview Monday anyway to, to the other one. They both were um, four instructors. You know, I'm like, hey, this lady hasn't called me back and she hasn't canceled. So I'm going to go. Monday so anyway, comes around and I'm kind of looking at my phone all day like, okay, is this other lady going to call me and cancel with me or are we good to go? You know, whatever. So. Um, now, this appointment was, um, anyway, time doesn't matter. But anyway, I went ahead and went. I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, she ain't sent me an email. She ain't called me to say, you know, it's canceled. So let's go in here, Katina, and let's give our best. So I put on my best, got my stuff together, got my little samples out and everything. We had the interview she kind of paused in the middle of the interview and she said, you know what, Katina? She said, your work is nice. Your work is really nice. I mean, I, I laid it all out on the conference table and I got this presentation, which I felt was just really, really good. And she said, you know what? I love your passion. She said, I love your passion so much. And I love that 
you're so excited to give back to the community and i love that you're you know um you want to share with others and i mean she just went on and on about what she loved about me and then she said and this is what got me she said you know what i've talked for a long time she said and i can teach you anything that you need to know for this job she said but you have one thing she said a lot of people can learn how to do this job she said but you have one thing that is just going to take you over the top in this job she said i want to offer you this job she said because i love i love your passion i mean she felt it in the interview you know and what i had to say and all that and i i expressed to her you know that this was something i've been wanting to do for a long time and she she just went on and on and on saying like i said i can teach you this i can teach you that if you if you don't already know you know i can do all that she said but it's your passion it's your passion that stands out so much with me so for me the job and i'm like oh my god i was so excited i was so excited even with the pay and and the um stipend they're gonna give me you know to buy supplies and all that stuff it was more than what i expected because i mean i have such a desire to do this this is something that i i'd actually do for the community for free and i'm serious about that um so anyway she tells me about all that and so then she said we have a room that um has a lot of supplies in it would you like to see it and i'm like yeah sure she said do you have time i'm like yeah i have time you know it's fine so she we get up <laughs> and we go to her desk to get the keys to this room that holds oh, these supplies my god the individual who canceled with me sits right next to right her. next to her and she proceeds to say hi da, 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 da. katina this is my co-worker da, 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 da. and hey this is katina she's our new instructor and we're so happy to have her and i know she's gonna do a great job uh what is the likeliness of that happening it was crazy it was really crazy i was like what the individual that canceled with me sits right next to her and she just introduced me and said this is our new instructor instructor we're so happy to have her and we i know i just know she's gonna do a great she just job say that yes yeah, she did and is this the lady that canceled with me yes it is and i was so yeah. caught off guard you know because i i when she introduced the lady i remembered the lady's name from the email and the phone conversation and all that and then i look at her desk um her name her desk tag or whatever her name name plate or whatever and it's the exact same person i'm like what is the likeliness of that what are the odds? so i'm telling a good friend of mine about this and he's like god handles the odds God handles, handles the eyes. like, wow, 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 wow. I'm like, this is crazy. But um, I just wanted to share that with you because you know what? When God has something for you, it's for you. And there's absolutely no one that, and there's no one out here who can do anything about it. If God wants you to have something, you're going to have it. You're going to have it, even if you come in contact and face-to-face -face with people who deny you, who turn you away, whatever. God, he has a rebuttal that will blow anyway. you away. I, I just wanted to share that short testimony with you. I'm so excited about starting this new journey in my life. And I just wanted to encourage someone that... Um, even when you're let down, just stay positive. And, and if God has promised you something, because you know God knows the desires of our heart, and, and if God wants to give you something, and if God wants to meet your need, and if it's in his will, you got to stay positive. You can't feel like it's the end of the world, you know, even though, you know, 
you like that. Way. You can't feel like it's the end of the world. You just got to keep moving and you got to keep the faith and you got to keep trusting God. And I promise you, he'll come through for you every single time, every single time. I promise.